Well, it's the last day of summer and um, this is the best, one of the best days that we've had so far. We've got a slight breeze coming from that house right up on top of the hill, coming through at sort of this angle and uh, it's not even a real what I'd call a breeze. So what are we flying today? We're going to fly the extra and the edge. Engine on. Try not to blink. Four minutes. Try not to look into the sun too. So that's mid rates, which is the high rate. I oh know it's between the low rate. I only give you low and high rate. This is the rate between that. It just didn't seem to have on low rate too much. So we're just getting used to it, seeing how she lands and how she floats. Nothing silly. Just don't want to crash it. I reckon I've put probably 40 to 50 hours into fixing it up from a couple of weeks ago. So you've got to keep the power up, otherwise she just doesn't turn, eh? Three minutes. I do believe you've got to land these pretty hot. Well, a 28 point landing is better than the one point landing that I had last time. So, engines off, how's the. Uh, the mate is quite cool. Nothing to loose on there. I bought a couple of batteries out. We'll put the. Um, Put the battery checker on there and see how that looks. And I believe it or not, that's probably my first flight that I haven't sort of gone stupid. So how does that rate in regards to that? Oh, come on. So we've still got four. 4-2 so we could probably still go again and have another little fly around at that oh, I'm shaking like a leaf and why wouldn't you be well I must say even trimmed up it seems to sort of fly all right I'm I'd be pretty happy with that Oh, 
one pretty true. Well, I think I might just leave it at that and go home and check all that and see how it went. I must say, you know, you get a bit nervous on the on the landing and you try not to not to guess land and bounce and carry on like a pork chop, but uh, let's disconnect that and see that motor is just warm. My uh, pulse rate is uh, going a hundred mile an hour, but we'll see. That battery is cold as. That's uh, got to be happy with that. So a three eight, yeah, three eight three nines, three eight three nine. So I am happy with that. Um, I'll turn that off and disconnect that battery. Gotta get used to these having these batteries in there. And I'm pretty happy with that. I'll go home and check all the um, all the joints on it and just check everything. And uh, as you can see, the edge has been uh, heavily modified because it uh, heavily hit the ground. And um, so a little story about the edge. We'll sit down, we'll have a, a chat for a minute. The edge is, um, I bought this in mid-December because I wanted a nice big plane. And I picked this up about three hours north of here. It had a 20cc DLE motor in it. Had one flight with that and it had like two crashes, tore the um, landing gear off it on the test flight so anyway there was a problem with it well there was two problems with it one is petrol I can't fly petrol up here at the turf farm purely for the fact that it's a turf farm and I told the farmer I wouldn't fly with petrol up here and secondly the uh, issue that I had was I just couldn't get it to so we've put a rimfire 120 in it which is what's recommended and it's a 50 65 450 kV motor and we're flying that on a five cell now this thing is pretty nose light um, it is very very tail heavy so the CG points are right on the center of the spar all up it's about a five kilo plane and even with the uh, brick that we're running a big 5400 six banger in there um, you've got to jam that all the way up the front so Let's talk about the crash. So I bought it out here a couple of weeks ago after I had modified it and I put a 160 size glow equivalent electric motor in there with the Castle Creation 120 HV uh, up to 12 S uh, speed controller in it. And I think I might have rushed it. Well, it's a couple of things that may have attributed, but I think I might have rushed it it was a little bit windy that day i wanted to get it up in the air and see what happened i took off from here i got about uh, 100 meters away it sort of took off went up and then just came down and crashed completely tore the front off the plane sheared the wing um, tore out the back um, stabilizer and bent the spar so i got a new spar Got that from Raymond Terrace. There's a company there that uh, I think it's called Easy something. Got a new spar. It's a 1.6 mil. That's the smallest or the thinnest I could find. What's in it is a one mil. So it's it's uh, about 70 grams heavier. Uh, glued all the front back on. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. What I've learnt with having a crash, 
or 500 crashes is you don't just walk away and pick up the big bits you pick up every bit you've got and then you see whether it can go back together and nine times out of ten it can now it's not pretty but I know it's mine so what did we do we ended up smacking around the underside so it sort of sheared through here you can see the underside of the wing that one is all white and that one has got the original stickers and that on it so she's had a bit of a, a rough time um, I am going to well I don't know whether you can see in there but in here we sort of broke this we sheared all this through here so this came out I mean basically did a number on it so everything now was sort of re repaired and uh, strengthened and there's a lot more strength in it now than what it was before but basically didn't do anything to the back of it just bent the undercarriage or bent the the tail wheel not a big deal to fix but we got all that sorted um, I made my own standoffs and no that's not a parachute I made my own standoffs I bought this from Bunnings I did the measurement you got to be 145 mil from the back side of the prop to the firewall so I bought this as 8 mil I then when I got the motor measured that and then I just did the calculations on the rest and this is just uh, 8 millimeter aluminium tube and then I designed up a pattern 3D printed it, put it over the top of this, pre-drilled it all so we got it all right and then put it on there and away we go. We've got the original waist, we've got, you can see we've got a spit load of weight in there, we've got the original waist up the front, these two, that one and then there's a little bag of just sinkers uh, held in there so, and it's got, I don't know whether you can see it in there, and she's got a 150 amp ESC Hobby King uh, Turnergy Plus, which I really like them. They're always, always been a good one. So what I'm going to do is when I get, if this flies and it flies okay, um, I'm going to buy the orange. I'm going to buy the blue, not the dark blue, because you buy it in a roll, $35 a roll. So I'll buy the orange and I'll just um, trace that and flip that over to the other side. I'll probably put the this colour blue which is underneath there, underneath there, just to make it original. Um, I've 3D printed some stencils because it had edge sports and uh, anyway let's shut up and take this for a fly and see if it works or not. You've got an issue, I mean look at that, even smack that. Had to put a, a strengthener in there, broke in there, put, had to put new hinges in there, new hinges over there. And if I must say so myself, I think I did a pretty okay job of the um, restoration. I didn't take any photos of what it looked like, but I can tell you that was sheared all the way through, basically through there, and that was broken. So you can see just there, I've got strengtheners in there. Strengtheners, as I said, I reckon I spent probably I don't know probably 25 hours on the wing and probably probably another 20 hours on the on the front of it just to make sure oh, she was uh, you can probably still see the signs there uh, she was sort of all snapped and through there she was snapped or broken there I had to strengthen that that was fine I had to cut her piece out of here and get in there and put an icy pole stick in there to strengthen that the underside you can probably see in the right light the wrinkles but I must say it is mine and uh, I'm having fun with it and I will get used to flying it and uh, that there that tail wheel it's got, it's gone. My tail wheel's gone. Well, that's fun.